Hi, I'm Michelangelo Badio, and I want to talk to you about arpeggios, arpeggio shapes, and how do you use sweep picking to accomplish this. When you play an arpeggio, what you do is basically single out each note of a chord. For example, a chord. A minor. Now I'm going to arpeggiate A minor. Now I can play it staccato, legato. I can do a lot of variations. But the idea is you don't play a chord like that. You arpeggiate it, which means single out every note. Now there's a, a, an example where I'm going to show you a little later where you can take a broken chord, arpeggiate it, but use a sweep technique. And this allows a guitar player to literally play keyboard style riffs. When I first started playing arpeggios, I did not know the term sweep. When I, in the Chicago area where I grew up, we used to call them rakes because we always thought that it seemed like raking leaves, the motion where you take your arm and you literally sweep it, you're raking. What I did for my very first arpeggio is I tried to create the sound of a piano, the sound of a keyboard. So I literally made the motion downward, then upward. Then what I did was to make it more pleasing musically, I started adding extra notes. What did I do here? I took my fourth finger, I hammered on, on the sixth string, fifth to the eighth fret. But I only used one pick. Then I used a downward motion with my picking hand to make notes that sound ascending. And this is one of the, the ironic things about sweep picking, is that when you do the downward motion, you're actually sound-wise moving upwards. And so... And then when I get to the first string, I take my fourth finger, put it on the C, the eighth fret, then pull off to the A, and then I move my hand upward, sounding downward, back down to A. And this was really the very first sweep arpeggio I learned. I didn't have anybody to teach me. I play piano, and what I wanted to do is try to recreate piano sounds on a guitar. So I didn't have a guitar teacher to say this. There weren't people like me around to say, this is how you do it. So I created this myself. But I also realized this was only the very beginning. It really wasn't an arpeggio that I wanted to use a lot. But it was one that got me on, on the way to learning the sweeps that we know today. Now, what happened after this, I realized that it sounds good, but it sounded better with a clean sound. And so what I said to myself is, OK, what chord shapes are there? A minor. Now, A minor seems to be one of the most basic chords that you can get, and it's easy to play. So what I said was, what if I outlined an A minor chord and tried to make this into a rake or a sweep pattern? And what I did is I came up with this one. And that became the arpeggio that we know today. And it's really one of the most common arpeggios for guitar that you have. Now, in this shape, what I did is I literally got the idea just from A minor. Now, what I did was tell myself, well, that sounds OK, but if I moved it up an octave, then I can get a shape that's much more pleasing to my ear, plus it lends itself to this sweep technique. So here's what I developed from this basic A minor chord. And arpeggio. I started here. I started on the 12th fret, first finger. Then I hammer to the 15th fret. And what I did was I created the A minor chord. And then I was able, because of the way this shape works, is to add that high octave. So, so it's like this. Thank you.
And what I do is I start with this first finger on the 12th fret, then I hammer on, then I literally bar the next two strings and roll my fingers over. Then I go. Then I hit the high A, starting with an up pick, pull off. Now, one of the problems that a lot of guitar players have is when they play this, a lot of the notes in between the beginning, the low string and the high string do not sound. And one of the reasons is it's almost a finesse move. When you bar your third finger, it's almost rolling your hand over to play. So for example, if I play it fast, you hear these notes go That's what you want it to sound like. You want to think like a piano. You don't want it to go But what I found is that many guitar players don't want to practice this slow. And I highly recommend when you play this, I'm going to play it slow. That's how I practice it. I literally played this arpeggio 1,000 times in one practice session just to get the feel of how it, how it felt to play this. And, and because it's a very fluid motion and it's not something just straight up, straight down. You have to roll fingers, your hands have to move, and they have to be synced together. Here is the A minor arpeggio played slow. Now, when you play it at a medium speed, you can hear every single note. And that's the idea because anybody can go, but, the, but when you play it and you have all these notes articulated, that's when you have a good sounding arpeggio and one that you can use in a musical context. So here is the A minor arpeggio. The most important aspect of playing this arpeggio and cycling it, meaning playing it over and over, is this. When I ascend with my pinky, and I ascend note-wise, when I go from the low A to the high A two octave third, it's, I, hit the A string, hammer on, then literally move my picking hand straight down, sound going up to the high A. When I hit that high A, I begin on an upstroke. So the A is on an upstroke, the high A, pull off, and then I end on C on an upstroke. But here is the crucial element. When I cycle this, when I play the second arpeggio shape, if I played A minor over and over, the second, third, fourth, every subsequent time, I now start again with a down pick and then do a hammer. So the sequence ends on an up pick, then the next sequence starts with a down pick and a hammer. And this will create the possibility for you to play this endlessly. And because if you don't, a lot of times guitar players will mess up, they'll go down and they really won't start that next note on a down pick. And that's the crucial element here to be able to take it from just one time to be able to cycle it over and over. Now that you have an idea of what sweep technique is, I want to show you a different way to play the same arpeggio. Um, I could call this an inversion, but it really isn't because an inversion would be to start on the first note, then the third note, then the fifth note. This is a different way to play the same notes. When you have this shape, it lends itself very well to, to your fingers, to everything. But there is another way to play an A minor arpeggio starting on the same fret. But instead of playing it here, play it here. And this is one of my favorite uh, variations of this. I love the sound of this arpeggio. And what you do is instead of starting on the 12th fret with your first finger, you start with your fourth finger. And so I will play it slow and so you can see the shape. Now what 
did I do there? I started with my fourth finger, 12th fret, fifth string, fourth finger, and it is an A. Then I literally used the sweep technique. I start with a downstroke. Then I start with an upstroke starting on the E on the 12th fret, first string, fourth finger. Now when I hit this E, I pull off to the C. Then I start the progression again. When I play it one time, I literally end on an up pick. So that would be one time. But if I want to cycle this, if I want to play it over and over, I have to start each new arpeggio with a down pick. Down. Up. Down. When I play this A minor shape and cycle it, playing more than one arpeggio at a time, playing it over and over and over, what I found is that many times the low A is hit twice. Now what happens is when I play the arpeggio, I will play it and, and literally using a downstroke to the C, then starting on an upstroke hitting an E, pulling off, then back down to the low A, and then I start again. So the entire arpeggio is played rather than just ending on C and then starting it. So when you play it fast, you literally will hear two A. natural variation when you use this arpeggio shape is to start on the low A and then hit the E when you get to that high E twice. And what I do is I literally take the C to the E and hammer on and then pull up.